huge thank you to Deluxe Store for sponsoring this video. They were nice enough to send me over their stainless steel nonstick wok. It's a versatile wok capable of cooking a variety of dishes. I am going to be cooking a hibachi meal today and you're going to see how I do that. Just stay tuned. This does come in pink, blue, and white. Super cute. It also comes with a silicone spatula as well as a scrubber. And then you get, of course, the wok and the lid and then the handle just screws on. A few of my favorite things about this is that that everything is included in this so you don't have to go out and buy like an extra silicone spatula because you do not want to use anything metal it is dishwasher and oven safe it is ready for all stoves it's large enough for a family of four to six I know I have a lot of people that have kids and stuff that watch me so this would be the perfect addition to your household it is very very non-stick like girl this is definitely by far my favorite kitchen item right now hey y'all welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be a little bit different from what i normally do but it's not too far from what i used to do if you're new here hey girl my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and jump in before you leave so we're about to do a cooking me video i've been craving hibachi girl for so long so we're about to cook our homemade hibachi i got my steak it's going to be steak and chicken i got my rice in the fridge Take that out um it's not a day old, but I cooked it hours ago, like five o'clock and it's eight o'clock right now. So hopefully it'll it'll still work out pretty well, but it is really good to have day old rice. I used to cook hibachi a lot when I was in college, but I got this new wok that I wanted to show you guys. I probably already did the unboxing in the beginning of the video. So we're gonna cook with that. I am super excited about that. So yeah, this has been in the refrigerator for a few hours it looks pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and keep it in there until we're ready to use it when i do hibachi i do like to cook my meats first and then the rice um especially if i'm using like one pan so i'm gonna go ahead and do that first i'm gonna clean the chicken and the steak well clean the chicken and then cut up the steak and all of that um so yeah y'all see i got my little apron on we official okay should we do like cooking with here janae should we make that a thing should i make a thing we may but this apron is super cute. I got this apron maybe like three years ago and it literally has like little bunnies on it. I think I got it around Easter a few years ago, but it got a little pocket right here and it got bunny rabbits on it, little Easter basket. I think it's so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and work with the steak first. I just got a little $10 top sirloin steak from Wally World. chicken is clean so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna trim off a little bit of the fat because I don't want that <clears throat> in my meal okay Okay, so for the steak and the chicken, I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper right now. Not too much, nothing too crazy. Pepper, I'm gonna do a little salt. And then I do want a little garlic powder and onion powder. And now we're gonna go ahead and start cooking. So this right here is just some homemade garlic butter that I made with minced garlic, butter, parsley, salt, and pepper. And whenever you see me throw butter in there or say butter, this is what I mean. So I'm going to throw this in with the chicken and steak, and then we're going to put it on top of the rice as well. So it already smells so good. I do have it. It is good to let this sit overnight. Um, I may... I made this about like an hour ago, so it's only been sitting for about maybe like an hour, hour and 30 minutes. So yeah, it is best to have all of this stuff sit overnight though. All 
All right, it is smelling really, really good in here. Um, I did go across the street to get some hibachi, well, to get some yum yum sauce because I do not like mayonnaise and I barely like ketchup. Like I can only eat ketchup with honestly french fries and potato wedges, stuff like that. Any type of potato is the only thing that I can eat. What's on my door? Girl. Okay, when you get a motion detected and everything stop. Okay, yeah. So I did go pick up some yum yum sauce because I know it's made out of mayonnaise, ketchup, and all the other fixes, but me personally, physically, mixing mayonnaise and ketchup together, like I could not eat the yum yum sauce with seeing that. So I went ahead and bought some just because I didn't feel like making it honestly, as well as I can mix those things together and eat it, as well as I wanted to really taste like hibachi stuff. So that's why I went ahead and got the yum yum sauce. I always make the fried rice and all of that. That always tastes just like hibachi, but the yum yum sauce is something that I can never just really mix together. So I am excited to actually have the real yum yum sauce. And these are like 30 cent from the places. I used to make hibachi all the time and then just go buy the yum yum sauce. Um, so yeah, 30 cents per little bitty thing. Just wanted to mention that. I didn't make it myself, but y'all can look up how to make yum yum sauce. I just personally cannot do it to myself. <laughs> I don't really like vegetables, but I'm gonna mix a little bit just so I can have some pretty rice as well as have just maybe like, if it's mixed in here, I probably could eat it, but I cannot eat vegetables by itself. And it says tear here. I don't see what it's tear at. Didn't realize this has corn in it, so. <laughs> I did not want corn, so I may not use this. all right <clears throat> taste test i just warmed it up it was a little cold i'm just gonna taste a little bit of everything together if i can the rice with the steak mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Prince is literally right here. <laughs> Wrong. It tastes so good. I'm really happy about my rice. It's not mushy. Every time I decided to try hibachi, like do it at home, I always think about it and then try to hear up and cook the rice. And then I used to cook the rice in like 20 minutes, like right after it gets done in the rice maker. And the rice be so mushy. So I'm excited that I got actual fried rice. <laughs> So don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. The link to the walk will be down in the description box below. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I don't want to butcher their name, so it will be on the screen right now. I absolutely love it. I am going to be using that and looking at more recipes to use that with. Mm -hmm -hmm. So as you can see, you only need one pan, literally an all-in-one. You don't need multiple pans and pots to cook the wok will do it for you. 